How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here, and I thought it was finally about time to get around to making a channel trailer. This video is going to cover what you can expect to see from me from the future on this channel, as well as go into some of my history here on the site, how Dato Doi has started, and even what the name Dato Doi means and where I got it from. Let's start by talking about what kind of videos you can expect to see coming out of this channel. The simplest way to describe my channel would be a place for me to talk about the things that I love. Now two of my biggest hobbies happen to involve Dragon Ball and fighting games, which is why the main content you'll see here on this channel is Dragon Ball Fighters, because it's genuinely my favorite game of all time as it combines two of my favorite things, Dragon Ball and fighting games. Now that doesn't mean you'll only see Dragon Ball Fighters on this channel. You'll also see things relating to just one of these two categories. You'll see some Dragon Ball stuff related to Dragon Ball Legends and Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, and you may also see me talk about the Dragon Ball Super anime if it ever does return. You may also see me talk about other fighting games that I'm passionate about, much like my old MVCI video that I did some time ago. If any of that sounds interesting to you or if you've seen any of my videos in the past and enjoyed them, then I would definitely say to subscribe and stick around for what's to come. And if you're really into the videos I make and want to make sure that you don't miss one, then I would say to click that notification bell as well because YouTube can be kind of iffy with their subscriber notifications nowadays. Seriously though, if you're into Dragon Ball Fighters, consider sticking around as there's no lack of content coming out from Arc System Works and Bandai. Dynamco. We have a lot more DLC to look forward to, and I'm sure we're going to get a second season, or maybe even a second game, all of which I look forward to covering right here on this channel. That was pretty much all I had to say in terms of future content on this channel, so now we're going to start talking about my history here on YouTube, and why I started this channel in the first place. As far as being a viewer goes, I've been watching YouTube videos for a long time, and in terms of making them, I've been doing them ever since 2011. <laughs> and funnily enough, my first video was actually a Dragon Ball Z video, and I still have the footage of it. Let's take a look. Characters for fight. Um, let's see, I got... Oh, so it's already going well. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't, it wasn't great. And I was very, uh, I was much younger. As you can see, I was still a Krillin fan even back in 2011. Unfortunately, and I know this is very hard to believe, that channel never really took off for me, so I kind of stopped making YouTube videos for a while. But the idea of doing something like that never really left my mind. Lo and behold, a couple years later, I started up another YouTube channel, uh, still pretty bad, but it was a massive improvement. For one, I had aged a couple of years. And aside from audio problems, the channel isn't really all too bad. It doesn't really revolve around Dragon Ball, though. It's just me and my friends playing some random games every now and then. Uh, there are a few videos on here that still do make me laugh. I love nature. <laughs> I stand here. I love nature. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks by my screen like that. <laughs> mm, the trees, everything, so wonderful. <laughs> 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 So even though these videos might not be the best, it is fun to have this short list of videos that you can go back and watch and see what your humor was like at that certain period in your life. The channel hit its peak at 95 subscribers and I averaged around 30 views a video and I was really happy with that. Now I'm bringing up these past channels not only because they affected the way I look at YouTube now, but also because my last channel and the people I played games with there played a huge role on the creation of Dato Doya. Basically what happened is that leading up to the release of Dragon Ball Fighters, I was getting more and more excited for the game to finally launch and I was talking about it a lot with my friends to the point where they kind of got sick of me bringing it up all the time. So obviously if I wanted to talk about Dragon Ball Fighters, I would have to do it someplace else, so I decided to make an entirely new YouTube channel and dedicate it to Dragon Ball Fighters. Part of the reason I wanted to do my first video, High Level DBZ, at, wow, I'm just realizing now that I got the uh, name wrong there in the title of my very first video. Part of the reason I wanted to do this in-depth match analysis was because a lot of people before Dragon Ball Fighters was even ever officially released, even before the final beta, people were saying that it was lacking depth, so I wanted to make an in-depth match analysis to see where the game excelled at that time. Now the game has only gotten deeper since then, honestly this match looks pretty bare bones, but even this was enough to get me excited for the depth that could be possible in this game. So that in a nutshell is my history with the platform of YouTube and the very beginning of Dato Doe as a channel. One thing I didn't cover though was the name Dato Doe itself. Where did it come from and what does it mean is a question I've gotten a lot since my channel first started, so I thought I'd finally address that now in this video. So unfortunately, the origin of a name like Dato Doe is kind of a lackluster one. Like I said, I was in a hurry to start up a YouTube channel so I could finally talk about this game I was so excited about, so I was just staring at the username screen, just drawing a complete blank on what to name it. I wanted to name it something different from most of my usual screen names, so I just 
started thinking of random sounds. And then for no reason out of the blue, my mind just thought back to this video I saw once like four years ago. And it was just somebody making a beat out of Google Translate saying Dato over and over and over again. And I just couldn't get that sound out of my head. So I just went to Google Translate myself and started throwing on additional words at the end of it. Just to see what rolled off the tongue. <laughs> Yes! What a creative genius! And after I heard that, I was pretty much settled with the name Dato Doya. I will admit that at first it was weird to have the people in the comments address me as Dato Doya. Uh, it just didn't feel like it was my name. But after a while, I have grown into it, and I really do like the name now. And while we're on the topic of comments, I do want to say that while I was going through a lot of my older videos on Dato Doya, I saw a lot of people in the comments that are still around to this day, and I want to thank you guys and all of the other commenters for sticking around with me for so long, and just leaving me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I really can't understate that it's my favorite part of being a YouTuber, is reading other people's opinions on stuff that I care about. It's nice to be able to step outside of your own head every now and again and see what the world thinks about something that you really care for. Of course, while we're on the subject of thanks, I do want to thank everybody that subscribed so far, and especially my Patreons over on Patreon. You guys are amazing. I really cannot thank you enough for showing me such generosity. It really does push me to strive and make these videos even better than the last, and it's just something that I really enjoy doing for you all, and I'm glad you give me the opportunity to make stuff like this. With that said, I don't want to hold you all up for too long. Uh, this was my channel trailer, even though it kind of grew into something a little bit more than that, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. If you want to leave me your thoughts and opinions about what you want to see on this channel, or if you just want to talk about your favorite video or moment from this channel or how long you've been here, please feel free to do so in the comment section below. I'll be down there as always. My name is Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.